advises me to remove Star and Jack from your home. The kids aren't going anywhere. Mr. Manning, you were already on shaky ground with that child endangerment charge against you. Oh, come on. You really think I would endanger Star? When the Star? judge found out that you lied about having a second child, he ruled that both children be placed in foster care until a determination could be made as to the competency of you and Mrs. Manning as parents. Gee, wonder where he got that idea. No, no, Todd, no. No, Todd, no! Run. No, Todd! So you and Jack, you're gonna have to go away for a little while, but I promise you, it's just a little while. I don't want to go. Yeah, well, I don't want you to go anywhere either. It's not up to me. Believe me, if it were up to me, it would be one less social worker in this world. Mr. Manning, this behavior is not an argument in your favor. I urge you, cooperate. Say goodbye to your children. Where are you taking them? To a wonderful foster mother not 20 minutes from here. You can visit daily, with supervision, of course. Well, could I at least pack some things for them? Well, we found it best that we move the children. We, we, what? There's more people in the world like you? I'll come back. Pick up whatever they need. It's happening time. We're being forced to say goodbye to our children. Not quite yet. I talked to Judge Lee. I know what's going on, and I'm here to help out. Wait a minute, Todd. You said that you called him and left a message. Changed my mind. No message or not. Wanted or not, I'm here, Todd. Take the cuffs off, Mr. Manning, would you please? I'm sure he won't do anything too stupid. Excuse me? Um, just a moment. Miss Major, is it? Yes. Blair, take Star inside. Sure, okay. Sonny. Come on. Uh, do you want to follow her? Go ahead. I know you have to. Mr. Rappaport, I have a court order to remove these children immediately. Well, not anymore. Uh, you need to call Judge Lee and then talk to your superiors. There's been a change of plans. Take the cuffs off him, but keep an eye on him. I'll be right back. Nobody needs your help, Sam. Take care of this without you. Just stop it right now, Todd. Sam is going to keep us from losing our children. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me, Sam, how are you going to make all of this go away? Hey, you lied about having a second child. Therefore, there's no way the court's order can be rescinded. Well, then what good are you? We're still going to lose our kids. Just for a short while. <laughs> I convinced Judge Lee to have your kids placed with family, with relatives. Vicky and Ben. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's good, don't you think? Ben? Yeah. Vicky's a straight-laced pain in the neck. I guess it's better than them going with a total stranger. Where are you rushing? Hello? Hi, Vicky. This is Sam. Is Ben with you? Sam! Oh, hi. Uh, yes, actually, he's right here in the flesh. Do you want to talk to him? No, actually, this is for both of you. Can you come over to Todd and Blair's right away? They need your help. It's about... It's all right. You don't need to explain. Todd needs me. We'll be right there. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got it. Let's go. <sighs> so when will Ben and Vicky be here? Soon. I'm going to talk to that social worker and make sure she's on the same page. How about we give these folks a moment, huh? Come on. You know, we wouldn't be in this position if you'd gotten Jack's adoption legalized. And for the life of me, I still can't understand why you didn't. I didn't think it would come to this. I was so scared that it would, and it did. And this is your fault. Those kids are the biggest thing in my life. Okay, I blew it. I didn't mean to. Is it ever going to get easy for us, for our family, Todd? Let's just keep waiting. Let's just keep waiting. 
This, but I'm glad to see you. Really? Why would that be? It's our kids, Vicky. Someone's trying to take them away. Oh, really? So Madam Major, you. she's with the County Child Services Department. How do you do? We're fine. What's up? Well, it seems we have a complicated situation here. I'll fill you in on the details later. But what it boils down to, I'm afraid, is that Jack and Star are being temporarily placed in foster care. Oh. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. I can't even imagine how dreadful you must feel at a moment like this. Well, you would know you, you had a child taken away, too. That's true. You said on the phone that Todd and Blair needed our help. Yes. Yes, they do. Well, we'll do whatever we can. Yeah, absolutely. You know, whatever. Thank absolutely. you. Thank you so much. We we don't want Jack and Star to live with total strangers. Oh, oh, that would be utterly tragic. And you are Todd's sister and, of course, Jack's godparent, yeah. so... And they're both such wonderful, wonderful little darlings. Right. Look, I don't want the kids to go anywhere, but if they gotta go, it should be with you, so... So what? So you'll take Jack and Star for a little while, right? Of course. We would love to, wouldn't we, Vicky? Over my dead body. 